Hey guys, what's up? So, I just watched uh, ESPN First Take and uh, with Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bayless, and they were talking about the shoulder injury and, uh, yeah, so they're just talking about all what was going on with the shoulder, how Pacquiao's being uh, questioned uh, why they didn't uh, mark, check mark that he had an injury before the weigh-in and all that stuff and uh, what do you call it and uh, like they're, they're just talking everything about the shoulder and the fight and everything and stuff like that so Stephen A. Smith thinks and it's, it's an excuse the shoulder injury and I just don't know. I don't know how you could see that. How can you say you could say that's an excuse because it's real. Like if Pacquiao said he had a shoulder injury and he had no proof of it, and there was no evidence backing it up or any facts, no MRIs, no uh, stuff going on in the camp that kind of look suspicious like how Manny was only using his left hand, how we sent his sparring partners early, how the sparring partners said he did hurt it, how Freddie Roach didn't want anyone seeing Manny hit the mitts or anything or the sparring because he wanted to keep the strategy secret. But really, that was because he just didn't want anyone to see that Manny couldn't spar or couldn't hit the mitts really the way he wanted to because he couldn't use the right hand. So there's evidence backing up that. And why would he want the inflammatory, uh, to, that numbing shot to make his shoulder uh, so he could deal with the pain during the fight? Why would he get that if his shoulder, if he didn't have anything wrong with his shoulder? Because Stephen A. Smith, on camera, said that Manny Pacquiao did not have any shoulder injury before he walked into the fight. He said Manny Pacquiao got the, the shoulder injury from missing the punches against Floyd Mayweather. He got it in the actual fight. He ripped, he, he teared the rotator cuff in the fight. Before the fight, he was 100% healthy. That's what Stephen A is saying. So, why did Manny have an MRI with a tear before the fight? Why was he only using his left hand in training? Why was he sending his sparring partners home early? Why were they not showing... Manny hit the bag ever or hit the mitts with Roach the way we usually do. Why did Manny Pacquiao want an, uh, to numb his shoulder before the fight if he was healthy? Did God tell him that he was going to hurt his shoulder so that's why he asked for it? Because why would he want that then? If he's 100% healthy, why would he say, oh yeah, I'm, I feel good, but I think I might hurt my right shoulder. So give me a numbing shot before the fight. Stephen A is a fool, really. If he, he's just, I, I can, there's no, art, there is no point even debating it because it's totally foolish, his point saying he hurt in the fight. That is totally untrue. Look at the facts I just presented with you. The MRIs, two MRIs, but weeks before the fight he had an MRI. He just had an MRI again. But uh, we won't look at the MRI after the fight because he's suggesting, Stephen A is suggesting and others maybe, will believe him, suggesting that he heard it in the fight. But he has an MRI before the fight. He was, he has uh, cases of the doctor came into his actual training camp and was help, was giving him stuff for Manny Pacquiao's shoulder in training camp. That was, uh, that was reported that Manny Pacquiao did get something done to his shoulder and that painkiller for his shoulder in training. Uh, it was reported Manny Pacquiao's sparring partner said he did hurt the shoulder and was really messed up. Uh, why was Manny Pacquiao only using his left hand in training? And why did we not see Manny Pacquiao hit the mitts a lot, hit the bag, the double end bag, uh, or anything like that? Why did we not see any video of that in training? Was it really to hide the strate strategic game plan? Or was it just because he couldn't do it? He couldn't hit the mitts with power with his right hand like he usually does. And if we've seen him do it, you would know something's wrong. Look at the media day workout when he hit the mitts for literally three minutes. He wasn't hitting the mitts like he usually did. So something definitely was wrong with the shoulder. 
all the evidence and there is facts and there is evidence and sources behind this. People clarifying that the shoulder was hurt. And uh, as for why they didn't check the, the injured box, there could be many reasons really. The team made a mistake but apparently they did fill out paperwork and maybe they thought the USADA paperwork was good enough to give to them and they didn't have to fill out the Nevada one, I don't know. Maybe it was because there was a lot of pressure to and uh, like to make the fight happen and they don't want it they didn't want to postpone it. So if they did say there was an injury injury, uh, like like I said, they didn't this fight's been like uh, Five years in the making, you don't want to postpone it. Cinco de Mayo weekend, and like you just it, there's pressures involved too, right? To for making the fight go through. But anyway, for as for not checking the injured thing, there could be like I said, there's many reasons why they didn't. There was obviously a reason because why wouldn't they check it, right? Uh, but anyway, um, yes, yeah, so. Really, I don't know why you would think he heard it in the fight. That's what this whole video is about. I made this video because Stephen A. Smith said in his excuse his, he was 100% healthy going into the fight. He, his shoulder was fine. He did not hurt his shoulder until he was in the fight. And that's just an excuse. And all I got to say is all those facts I just mentioned. But the number one thing is why would Manny Pacquiao want to get a numbing uh numbing shot in his shoulder uh painkiller shot in his shoulder if he was 100 percent healthy that just doesn't make like that just doesn't make sense like like i said the only thing is if god told him you're gonna hurt your shoulder in the fight you better take this that's the only reason but come on so stephen a smith's argument is totally it, it, you can't even it's no point arguing because it's just foolish he doesn't know he's he's just doesn't uh he won Floyd to win really bad, and Floyd did one, and uh, he doesn't want to hear about anything that would uh, take away from Mayweather's performance. And you can't take away anything from Mayweather because uh, he he won the fight, and well, and I'm sure he didn't know about the shoulder. You could see him in the fight, tugging on it, holding on it, punching, probably aiming for it, and he. Floyd Mayweather is probably the one who stepped down and say, I don't want this guy taking this numbing shot in his shoulder because he knew about it. And maybe that could be one of the reasons why they didn't want to check it. I don't know. But Floyd knew about the shoulder as well. So obviously he likes to have every advantage possible. And he probably, I wouldn't be surprised if he was the one who said, I don't want him taking this shot. Just wouldn't be surprised. But like I said, Manny Pacquiao deserves a rematch because he wasn't 100%. He said himself he was only 60%. He couldn't do what he wanted. He couldn't throw the right hand with power at all. And you can't throw good combinations if one of your arms isn't good. You just can't. You can't. And Manny Pacquiao, that's what it would have won, won him the fight combination. So. Uh, so, like, if Floyd, if Stephen A. Smith also said, if Floyd Mayweather said he pulled a, a rotator cuff, then we would just be saying, oh, uh, that's, he's just making an excuse, that and that. But Floyd Mayweather is known for making excuses like that. So that's why he would get more criticism if that did happen to him. But if he did, wanted a numbing shot, and it was legal... He would have got it. I guarantee if it was the turn, tables were turned, the Nevada Athletic Commission, he would have got the shot in his arm because he controls Nevada Commission, really. He controls it. So he would have got that numbing shot. He, he got to drink his own vitamins, his own water. Manny Pacquiao couldn't even drink his own vitamins and water in the dressing room before the fight. Out of his 20-year career, Manny Pacquiao was so disappointed and was so surprised he couldn't even drink his own water and vitamins before the fight. So... And that's me, weather's doing probably, but so, but yeah, I understand if this, I do, I can see, yeah, if this did happen, the tables were turned, Mayweather would get more criticism because he's known for making excuses and stuff like that. But, and he, he puts it all on himself. He, he like, so, but then again, if he did, if he showed the MRIs and if there was sources saying that Mayweather the sparring partner said he did hurt the shoulder and say everything was reversed. 
and he had the MRIs and he wanted the numbing shot before the fight, I would say Floyd Mayweather does deserve a rematch because he wasn't 100%. I guarantee I would not be biased because I believe if you have evidence and facts supporting that the shoulder was injured, it is not an excuse. It's one thing to say my shoulder was injured and that's why I lost the fight and there's no MRIs, there was no uh, wanted the numbing shot, there was no in the camp he heard it, there was no nothing of that. Then I would say, yeah, he's just, that's just happens. It happens in sports. You hurt yourself, uh, but he's, you got to find a way to win. But this was a serious injury. This was a, a significant tear in the rotator cuff. And uh, you can't beat the best fighter in the world if you have an injury like that. You just can't. And if you could, like the fact that Manny Pacquiao even performed for 12 rounds like that, even though he wasn't impressive, the fact that he performed that well with a significant tear, that just shows you how good he is, really. That actually, when you look at that, that way he actually did put in a good performance considering what was wrong with his arm. Like a needle penetrating his bone, he said. That's how it felt. He didn't want to throw it. He was just wanted to throw the left hand and look for that one big shot. That's why he was just standing in front of Mayweather and it appeared Manny Pacquiao couldn't pull the trigger. It's because he didn't, it, it hurt when he pulled the trigger like that. He was only searching for that one big left hand, and you can't beat Floyd Mayweather looking for one big shot. You got to throw combinations. To throw combinations, you got to have 100% both healthy hands, healthy arms and hands. So, so that's my case. If this were turned on Mayweather, like I said, if as long as it, if everything was turned and he had the MRIs, he had the sparring partners saying this, he sent them home. He was only using his left hand in training. He wasn't showing any video of himself hitting the mitts or the bag or anything like that. He wanted, he got the work done in training camp. He had a doctor come in and administer stuff to his shoulder to help him. And he asked work before the fight as well. If everything like that was correct and everything, and this was on Mayweather, this was Mayweather instead of Pacquiao, I would say give Mayweather a, a rematch. I really would because there's evidence and facts backing up. If, like I said, if Manny Pacquiao just said, oh, my shoulder hurt, and he had no evidence, no facts, sparring partners didn't clarify nothing, training camp didn't have any suspicious situations of not having no video of Pacquiao really going beast on the, on the heavy bag, he wasn't going beast on the mitts this training camp, he wasn't going beast on the double end bag, they didn't show any videos like that because they're trying to hide the strategy. That just adds up that his hand was hurt. And the fact that he was only using his left hand for some training sessions, it all adds up. His shoulder was hurt. What more do you want, right? It all does add up. And if, like I said, if there was none of that evidence, if there was not evidence saying, if there wasn't articles and sources saying Manny Packer was only using his left hand for training sessions, when I first heard of that, I thought he was just trying to sharpen up his left hand. But now that we know about this, we know he just couldn't use his right hand. And why was there no video of Manny Pacquiao hitting the mitts like he usually does, like beast on the mitts in the heavy bag and stuff like that? Trying to hide the strategy or just he just couldn't do it, right? So, and they didn't want Mayweather's camp to find out, but, find out, but they knew. They had a leak, so... Really, it's a shame that maybe they should have postponed it, to be honest. Even though there's a lot of pressure involved. It was Cinco de Mayo weekend. It, May 2nd was the date that Mayweather wanted. It's in the contract. It had to happen May 2nd. And Cinco de Mayo week weekend would be the bigger week and would make the most money and be the most popular. HBO and Showtime were so frustrated and it was hard for them to come together because they, they they're rivals, so... And it took five years for this to happen. Mayweather finally accepted it. What if he did postpone it? Would, would there be issues once Pacquiao got better? Would there be issues? Because it's going to take a year for the shoulder to heal. Imagine if he did postpone it and it took a year. I doubt Mayweather. Who knows what would happen if the fight would ever happen then. So Pacquiao just wanted to give the fans what they wanted because he knew if he postponed it, maybe it never would have happened, right? And that's a strong thing. So there was a lot of pressures involved and there was a lot of things going for uh, Manny Pacquiao not to postpone it. Because if he did postpone it, like I said, all those factors could have been in and maybe the fight wouldn't have happened. So he went through with it. He fought 12 strong rounds. And really when you look at it, it wasn't a good performance. But it was a good performance considering he only had one arm. So...
But like I said, a rematch is in order. Mayweather says he will give a rematch. He told Stephen A. Smith that he will give a rematch if Bob Arum agrees to it and puts up the money this time. And Manny Pacquiao, right after the fight, like he in his interviews, he said he's 100% he wants the rematch if Floyd wants it. So both guys want it again. But HBO and Showtime then have to come together. Or maybe they don't. Maybe Mayweather will fight one more last time on Showtime, then come independent. Maybe that might happen. But So a rematch isn't due. Like I said, this happened to Mayweather. I strongly disagree with Stephen A. Smith saying we would be like... We would be saying, oh, he just got his ass kicked, no rematch. Because as long as he had evidence and facts. But then you got to look at it this way. Mayweather puts it on himself. If he did say all that stuff, we'd be like, it's like the little boy who cried woof, right? Mayweather's that kind of personality. Like, uh, and especially, like, he's that kind of personality if he makes excuses like that. Or, because uh, he's made a lot of excuses in the past not to fight Pacquiao and and all, and he has he's shown very cowardly behavior in in fights like picking the gloves and all that, and his domestic abuse outside the ring. People don't like him. So if the tables were turned, people might treat him differently because Mayweather is not a good person outside the ring. So that's what. But beside all that, you got to give. If the guy wasn't a hundred percent and he had a significant injury, you have to give the guy a rematch. So. Uh, rematch is in order, and uh, like I said, if you think Pacquiao hurt in the fight, I think you're just a fool, really, because there's a lot of evidence. What more do you want? But anyway, let's hope there is a rematch. And I on oh, and I do. I honestly believe if there is a rematch and Pacquiao has two strong hands, he will win the fight, and he could possibly knock out Mayweather. I still truly believe that. I still believe Pacquiao is the better fighter and boxer. But uh, that's not saying, like, Mayweather can still, like, he can still beat Pacquiao even at 100%. But I'm saying, like, like if you said that Floyd would have beat him anyway if he was 100%, that's your opinion. I don't, like, I'm not going to, like, I'm going to argue with it. But that's your opinion. And, like, okay, okay. I'd just be like, okay, yeah, I know. Maybe he still would have won, okay. I accept that your opinion, but if you said he wouldn't do any better with a with a hundred percent healthy, then that's just foolish. Because how can you, how can a hundred percent healthy person be the same as a person with a severely teared rotary cuff? How can you, how can the performances be the same? It's not going to be the same. Paco's going to do better no matter what if he's a hundred percent healthy. So even if he didn't win, still he would have. It would have been a lot closer. It would have been a lot more competitive, and. Like I said, I still believe, though, if he did have that right hand, he would have won. And I still stick by that. And I'm still 100% confident Pacquiao will beat Floyd Mayweather if he's 100% healthy. And hopefully there is a rematch. And if there is a rematch and Pacquiao's 100% healthy, none of this happens. I will say Floyd Mayweather won. He is better. That's when I will say that. But we have to wait for that the second fight now. And that's not going to be... It's going to be at least a year, so. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Did he hurt it in the fight? Did he hurt, hurt it before the fight? What do you think? You know what I think? I have all the facts and evidence that I presented. It's all out for everyone to look at. So, on the internet, sources telling that. So, let me know what you guys think. Do you want to see a rematch? I do. And what do you think the outcome will be when Pacquiao is 100%? Because I think he's, he will win. I truly believe that still.